Hi everyone. This is just a little tutorial quickly showing what to do if you have artist block. And on a lot of my groups, um, I see people posting that all the time. And this is an idea um, I saw someone else on YouTube do something similar. And so I just today was really not in the mood to actually sit down and start working on something intense so I thought well I'm just gonna throw some paint on some paper and try this myself and see what I come up with and as you can see I just wet the paper and started putting paint on it with no idea whatsoever what I was going to do or what it was going to turn into and right now I'm just lifting color because that's kind of kind of an intuitive type painting type sort of thing right now um, because I really had no direction at this point and I decided that I wanted some clouds so that was intentional And I'm still, while I'm doing this, I'm not even looking at it, trying to decide, okay, what is this? What am I going to paint? It's just color on the paper. I mean, this, is a, this would be a really fun little exercise to do just as a warm-up before you start painting for the day. Um, it's definitely something that can help you when you have artist block where you just don't know what to paint and nothing sounds like something that you want to do i mean i have those days where it's like oh i could do this well no i'm not really in the mood and um so this would uh this is like just a really um fun thing and i mean it might turn out to be nothing and it goes in the trash i mean I've, i have a lot of those days too and or it could turn into something so I'm still, I sprinkled some water on the, on the paper, make some dots for no reason, I just did. And I'm just kind of, what I'm doing right now um, is just, there was green there, so I decided to make it look like foliage. I'm just kind of enhancing the colors that I put down. I'll be honest, while I was doing this, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe these are going to be trees and this is going to be like way in the distance and maybe like a mountain. Um, all kinds of thoughts were running through my head like that. I started making a little tree there because there was green and I still really just have no idea what it's going to be. Now looking at it now and where I ended up, it's like, oh, okay, this kind of looks like a bluff. Where like, some of the sand has like crumbled down away from it. But at the point while I was still painting, um, I really did not have that in mind at all. I just continued putting paint on the paper. At this point, I know I still was thinking about mountains and distance and things like that. I decided I didn't like that dark spot there, so I removed it. I 
While I'm doing this, I'm going to talk about the brush that I'm using right now. And I got this from the UK um, from Rosemary and Company. And this is a badger liner. It's made from badger hair. And it is, when it's dry, it just, every hair sticks out really weird. And um, it does not give like a real um, fine liner type of line. It's kind of a broken one. It's really, really nice for doing foliage. So if you're looking for something like that, check into Rosemary and Company. My mother's an artist and um, we actually went in on it together. The sh she wanted some and I wanted some. I actually bought four different brushes from them and um, we shared the shipping and it turned out really reasonable and it actually got here in like three days. Now at this point I still did not know what it, you know, it didn't look like anything to me in particular and I still was just putting color on the paper, adding a few highlights in. Um, in the middle of this, my daughter came home and my grandson and they were coming in um, where I was working and started talking to me and so I just kind of, uh, I actually didn't think that I was done. And um, I just kind of put it down and walked away. And when I came back and looked at it, it was like, you know what, that looks like a bluff. And it just didn't feel like there was anything more that I wanted to do to it. And so I was done and signed it. And I hope that you guys enjoy this um, video. And I hope that you'll try this method out because it really is a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. <laughs>